Well now, let's see if we can't do something about my board. Hey everyone, one big boss here. Uh, welcome back to new to retro reviews. Um, this isn't actually going to be a review. It's more of, a, as it says here, a wish list. Uh, ever since uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 came out, many fans were disappointed with how uh, it was handled for the character selection. And then Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 came out six months later, and we got a new roster of characters, like the return of uh, Strider. Uh, we also got Ghost Rider, Iron Fist, Nemesis, Frank West. You know, a lot of good characters, but a lot of people are still disappointed that uh, a lot of characters didn't make it into the final roster again. Um, I don't know if they'll ever add DLC, uh, but if they do, people have been asking me, you know, boss, what would you like to see for characters to return, or characters that haven't been in the series yet? So this is going to be the Capcom side of, uh, of my wish list. Uh, and I started off, of course, uh, picking Cody. Um, I never really used Cody much in the older games. Um, I tried, but I just wasn't really good with him. But in this game, it was something completely different. Like, I just, I clicked with him. I mean, like, I, I didn't really use him at first when I got Super Street Fighter 4. I was, um, uh, what was it? I was mostly using, uh, like, Jerry and Abel. Uh, but I wasn't really good with them in the end. And then I just started using Cody one day, because, I mean, I, like, facing a lot of people online, I saw how cool Cody was in this game, how they amped, up, amped him up, and, you know, his, his moves and everything. So, um, I just started getting good with them. I mean, like, I, I think he would do good in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 because, you know, his assists could be, like, the Ruffian Kick, uh, Bad Stone, and what's another one? Like, maybe one of his, uh, like, you know, uh, the, the, that Zonk Knuckle thing or something. You know? uh, he's got various moves that would be perfect if they incorporated it in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. So, yeah, Cody is definitely a character I wish to see as a DLC if Capcom decides to do that for us. Next up in, the, in my wish list, actually, is uh, Guile. Uh, you know, he's someone I've used always since Street Fighter 2. And the thing that was, the fact that Guile's been given the short stick uh, in crossover games in the last couple of years. Um, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, he was absent from. Uh, Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter, he was also absent from. And they didn't include him in Marvel Super Heroes. Oh, oh actually, uh, sorry, my, my apologies. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, the first one. He wasn't in that. And I was kind of bummed out about that, because Guy's been one of my favorites. I mean, like, he's a legend. I mean, he's got great moves. He's got moves that can be incorporated for great assists. And he would be an, a good a good addition. I, I still don't understand why um, Capcom added didn't add him. I mean, they put Crimson Viper in instead, and I didn't really think she got that much uh, fame. I thought for sure, if anything, they would have put Jury in, because everybody loves her. Um, but, you know, anyway, Guile would be the perfect choice for Ultimate uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, in my opinion. I would love to see him in the roster. I mean, he's just got epic one-liners, his moves are great, um, and I'm not really a charge character player either, and that's what he is, and yet I do pretty well with him. So, I mean, Capcom, if you're listening, there's many, many fans out there who would love to have Guile, because he's just, he's just an icon. He's great. He's got the hair. I mean, he puts on sunglasses during battle. He takes time off to do that. It's pretty cool. Plus, his theme goes with everything. Try to deny that, Capcom, because it really does go with everything. Okay, well, almost everything. But in the end, I still would love to see Guile, you know, in as a DLC character for Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, if possible. Number three on my list is actually uh, the original mascot for Capcom itself, Captain Commando. Um, I've used him ever since Marvel vs. Capcom 1. Um, he was always a guy I used like I am right here now in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. And the only reason why I played as him in the first one was because I had no idea who Captain Commando was. I never played uh, the old game he was in. I, it's actually one of the games I've been meaning to track down and, uh, and uh, play. But um, I've always used him for years. He's always been a, uh, a character that has appeared in many of my teams. Um, I like his moves. I think his set would be really good for Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. He's got moves that can go across the screen, uh, like his fire his fire moves and his electric moves cover basically in the air, kind of like Dante's uh, guitar move in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Um, I, and his assists, like right here, the, the flying mummy guy, uh, you could 
really use that as an assist or, you know, Captain Commando does his uh, Captain Kick move like, you know, the Rising Fang that Iron Fist does. But honestly, it's a, it's a character that I would really like to see. I, I doubt we'll see him because unfortunately I haven't run into anybody who's wanted Captain Commando to come back. Uh, which is sad because he's really good, a good character. But it's, you know, unfortunately it's not to me. It's up to Capcom and whether or not they still listen to their fans, I don't know. But hopefully one day we get a DLC of him. Or maybe a cameo. That I mean, that wouldn't... Who knows, you know? You, you, you really don't with Capcom these days. Now, as much as I didn't use him in the first two Marvel vs. Capcom games, I really think that, you know, Capcom has given fans the middle finger by not putting Mega Man in. And by pulling this stunt, by giving Zero the Mega Man X armor. Uh, honestly, I think Mega Man should just be added, because you added Phoenix right. So, why not add the Blue Bomber who's made Capcom what it is? If they wanted this game to sell more copies, if they had put Mega Man or X into the series, it would have been a good uh, strategy because, I mean, that's the only reason why I could figure they put Phoenix right in, just for fan service, so fans of that game would buy it and play as him, and then once they got the game, they realized that they're not fighters. Another Capcom series that goes overlooked is the Power Stone fighting series. Um, I mean, I don't really know many people who've played this, but the people I do know who played it have loved it severely. And I think Edward Falcon, the one in red, would be perfect for this uh, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I think they could really bring back the Power Stone series if they tried. Um, also, you know, the genie in the game, Rue, she'd be a good addition. Uh, Wang Tang, he'd be pretty good in there, too. Um, I would really wish Capcom would considering going back to their older games and really looking through characters, you know. Throw the ideas out on the web, see what the fans want, see how they'll react to it, at least. And now, the final character. Now, the Resident Evil series has gained much fame since uh, was Marvel vs. Capcom 2 was released. Uh, now we have Chris Jill and Wesker to be play as in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. And the Nemesis was added as well. Um, I think one more character wouldn't hurt though. And I would say, you know, add Leon, but he's getting all kinds of fame and props and everything. He's just being poured out at this point. Um, so I would suggest using someone like Ada. I mean, she would probably be a character like Jill, like very fast, but uh, I think she'd be more, oh, I don't know, how would how would she fight? Like, I mean, like she's got like crazy kung fu kind of moves. Um, you know, she's got these uh, like sniper rifles, uh, submachine guns, uh, rapid fire handguns. You could change it up differently from how Wesker uses his one gun and how Chris uses the various weapons he's given. Um, her assists would probably be something like uh, her fan kick, um, you know, uh, a sniper rifle shot that like hits anybody anywhere, like stuns them or something. Um, but I would think if they put a lot of thought into it, adding Ada wouldn't be such a bad idea. I mean, I kind of would like to see Claire because I'm, I'm a bigger Claire fan. Um, but I mean, one more Resident Evil character I, I'd be happy with. I mean, I have Wesker, so that should be good enough for me. But um, I've always liked Ada, I've always liked her style, she's always like in the shadows. Uh, I think she would be another good addition. So hopefully Capcom does this. I mean, I, I don't think so because if they ask what Resident Evil character you'd want to put in, they'd probably say Leon or Claire, or possibly Krauser. Uh, Ada, I think, would get outvoted, but you know, one can always hope, right? Alright everybody, that wraps up this little uh, video here wish list. Um, so yeah, this is what I would choose as my Capcom side. Uh, tune in soon because I will have a Marvel side up uh, within a couple of days. Given that it, Christmas is a couple of days away, things are going to be probably slowed down a little bit here. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the month. But I will try to do the best I can. Also, um, in the comments below, leave a list of at least five characters at, at max uh, if you would like to see them in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I'm curious to what people... Uh, want as for characters for the Capcom side. Uh, you know, who who would they want to either return or who they think should get a chance to star in, in Marvel vs. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. So, as always, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel because it's free for everybody and in this day and age, free is a damn good thing. Check us out every Wednesday because we'll be releasing a re new review every week every, on every Wednesday because Wednesdays are it's the middle of the week and we're going to help you get through it. So, thank you for watching, everybody. Until then, I will see you next time. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays.